Fishing for poetry, as Norman McKaig, Fishing for Poetry, we made back in 2010. Uh, 2010 was the, uh, the centenary of the birth of McKaig, and uh, BBC loves anniversaries. And so you would have thought that uh, with a poet of McKaig's stature, that uh, getting a film television celebration would have been a shoe in but uh, the director Mike Alexander and I, quite long in the tooth with 40 odd years in the business, uh, knew kind of difficult, knew it would be kind of difficult. But we went to BBC Scotland and we got the answer we rather expected. Oh, we know McKeag's a great poet, but there's no audience for poetry. But if you could get network interested, we might think about it. So we went to London to BBC Four, and we got the response that we expected. Oh, we know McKeag is a great poet. Not just a great poet, but in the world stage, he's a great poet. But there is no audience for poetry. So we kept at it, getting desperate. And eventually, we named all sorts of people that we thought we could get into the film, like from Seamus Heaney on down, you know, a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, and eventually, scraping the barrel, I remember that Billy Connolly had appeared with McKeag, or McKeag had appeared with Billy Connolly on a, a, an Edinburgh Fringe stage show uh, back in the early 70s. Uh, and so I mentioned Connolly's name and the BBC4 reaction was, Billy Connolly? If you can get Billy Connolly, you're on. So to cut the story short, we, we got Billy Connolly, partly because Andrew Gregg had written a, a book called to the Loch of the Green Corrie about McKeag's fishing experiences and had sent it to, to Connolly and Connolly had liked it. Uh, plus, uh, Con uh, we knew Ali Bain and done a lot of work with Ali Bain music and music films. And Ali was a, a really keen fisherman. Uh, and Ali knew as an old pal of, of uh, Connolly's. So we thought if we could put, bring the three of them together and we did. And that was taking them up 2,000 feet up a, a hill in Ascent uh, to a loch called the Loch of the Green Corrie. Uh, and they fished it and they talked about McKaig. And in between all of that, we, uh, we had uh, various poets recalling McKaig and reading uh, McKaig poems of their own choice. We had Seamus Heaney, of course, we had Douglas Dunn, we had uh, Black Angus. It was an odd kind of film, but it sort of worked. And uh, one reviewer called it a curiously wonderful little film. Uh, I hope you find it that way too. <laughs>